terminal alkyne is a molecule that has a carbon-carbon triple bond at the end of the carbon chain, which means that it will have at least one hydrogen on the carbon-carbon triple bond. So a generic structure like this. Terminal alkynes are pretty acidic. The hydrogen that is on the carbon-carbon triple bond is, is pretty easy to remove. So acidity is just referring to the removal of the hydrogen. And in this case, because we're talking about a terminal alkyne, we're talking about removing the hydrogen from the carbon-carbon triple bond. Now, this is not, when we say that they're acidic, we don't mean that they are acidic like HCl or HBr or something like that, but they're relatively acidic for a hydrocarbon. We do have to use a very strong base to remove the hydrogen from a terminal alkyne. One is the amide ion, NH2-. I'm going to show you a few more um, few more bases that will work as well. In this reaction, the amide ion, because it's such an incredibly strong base, it will grab the hydrogen from a terminal alkyne, break the carbon-hydrogen bond, and move the bonding electrons onto the carbon atom as a lone pair. So we end up with an anion, a carbanion, so that carbon atom has a lone pair of electrons and also has a negative formal charge. And then, of course, the byproduct of this reaction would be ammonia and H3+. <clears throat> so this carbanion obviously is not what we would call stable. It's in a very strong base. But it's relatively stable because we've talked about this before. The sp hybridization of that carbon is... Um, a small, short, stubby orbital that holds that formal negative charge close to the nucleus, which is positively charged. And this is what leads to its stability. If this reaction is done with the two-carbon alkyne, this is ethyne. Let's use the NH2 minus ion again. So we're looking at the exact same reaction. We're just looking at it with a specific alkyne. We make this carbon ion and also NH3. This uh, alkyne that we started with, its IUPAC name is ethyne, as I said, but its common name is acetylene. And the product of this reaction is called the acetylid or acetylide ion. Because this molecule here is referred to as the acetylide ion, we oftentimes incorrectly call any deprotonated alkyne an acetylid ion. This is the only actual and true acetylid ion, but we do have a tendency to refer to any deprotonated alkyne as an acetylid. So in terms of what kind of bases we can use for this reaction, bases that will deprotonate an alkyne. We've already talked about the NH2 minus ion, and sometimes we see this written in as an ionic compound, usually NaNH2 if it's going to be written in that format. We can also deprotonate it with some other um, ionic carbon, hydrocarbon. So perhaps like CH2, CH3, something like that. And then we could also use the hydride ion H- as an ionic compound. This is usually NaH, sometimes LiH.